Hello everyone and welcome back again to the 80s Movie Den. Uh, I just wanted to do another quick haul video. Uh, this is from the world of professional wrestling. Uh, I could do a two hour long video about my love of pro wrestling, um, WWF wrestling, uh, the 1980s, the golden era. Uh, man, I could just go on forever. Uh, I grew up watching it as a kid. Uh, I was hooked on it. Um, I watched it every Saturday and Sunday when it was on. Uh, I watched it at 12 noon. I watched it at 1 o'clock. Um, I watched it at 7 p.m. when they had Maple Leaf Wrestling. Uh, I live in Ontario, Canada, so I was able to watch wrestling, like I said, five times. Four or five times over the course of the weekend. Uh, they would broadcast it. I grew up in Niagara Falls, uh, Canada, um, and we were so close to Buffalo uh, that we would get wrestling from Channel 2, WGRZ, I believe, and um, also um, uh, WUTV, I believe it was Channel 29 in Buffalo, and, uh, and then we would watch uh, Maple Leaf Wrestling on CHCH TV 11, which was a, a station based out of Hamilton, Ontario. Um, they did a lot of wrestling live shows in our area, uh, Hamilton, Brantford, Niagara Falls, New York. Uh, and so we were exposed to it, being kids growing up in Niagara Falls. Um, and me and all my friends, uh, you know, we lived it and breathed it. Uh, we would. We had the, the rubber wrestlers, the LJN figures. We would bring them to school. Um, we would bring uh, the wrestling cards to school. Uh, the first series of wrestling cards that were released back in, I believe it was 85. And, um, you know, we were hustling each other even when we were like six and seven years old. We were playing this game, this card game called Noxies, it was called. And I don't know if anybody's familiar with that game, but you used to stand the cards up against the wall on an angle. And then you used to sit about maybe a foot or two away and you used to flip, flip a card that you had in your hand and try to knock the cards off the wall. And any cards that you knocked off the wall were your cards. So here we are at six and seven years old, you know, gambling out at recess. <laughs> um, and uh, you know, it's funny because We'd start out playing and everything was good and we were playing fair and then when there were little you know discrepancies you know the card wasn't quite on the ground and one card was kind of half hanging on the wall and next thing you know we're actually wrestling for real we're fighting because we are six and seven years old right we tried to keep the peace but you know we'd have we'd get into altercations and uh, but i mean what great memories now you know looking back and um you know, we weren't very smart either because we were damaging those cards and uh, <laughs> they weren't worth much after we were done playing Noxies, right? But uh, anyways, uh, like I said, I could ramble on and on about pro wrestling. Um, huge Hulkamaniac. There, you know, not many kids I knew at that time weren't a Hulkamaniac. I mean, there were fans of Mr. Wonderful and, and Macho Man. I mean, it was just a, a list of household names. I mean, and they were everywhere. These wrestlers were everywhere. They were on, you know, they were on TV, wrestling. They were on talk shows, daytime, late night. Uh, they were making cameo appearances and, you know, TV shows and movies and, um, you know, the T-shirts and the posters and the wrestling figures and, and just, you know, they were everywhere. The cartoon, you know, that's something else I could talk about, the cartoon. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to, you know, do a quick haul video. I, I picked up some, you know, classic 80s, uh, WWF stuff and uh, I'm sure down the road I'll do more videos about this um, you know I just I don't want to I don't want to go on too long here uh, but I, I will show you what I got so we'll start with um, the wrestling album this was the uh, the first album that was released and uh, I had I had this album as a kid, not this one obviously, but I had the wrestling album as a kid and um, I wore it out. I loved it. Um, I would play the Hulk Hogan theme song constantly, um, but I loved all the songs on it. Um, you know, it had, uh, 
you know, Land of a Thousand Dances, Grab Them Cakes, which was the um, Junkyard Dog uh, theme song. Um, you know, Real American, obviously, uh, Don't Go Messing With a Country Boy, um, Hillbilly Jim. Um, just a lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So that there's the front and then there's the back. I apologize for the glare folks. I'm gonna try to eliminate it as much as I can here. But um, yeah, I got this off of eBay. Um, you know, if you're looking for things like this, I think I paid, I don't know if I overpaid um, with shipping because shipping is just, you know, it, it's, uh, it's a tough, it's a tough one to swallow, but shipping on eBay. Um, I think I paid all together. I was about 45 Canadian for this, 45 to 50 Canadian. Um, I don't think it's that expensive. Uh, if you go to local record stores, there's a lot of records that are, you know, 30, 40 bucks easy. Um, so with shipping, this isn't so bad and it's an excellent condition, like absolutely perfect condition. Like it was never used. Like you just bought it out of a store. Um, the record I have already, oh, there's a record slipping out there. Uh, the record I've played it. I played it when I got it. Uh, the night I got it, I, I put it in and it's, it plays beautifully. Um, not a scratch on it, not a mark, not a, nothing, no fingerprints or anything. Um, and then I picked these up off of eBay as well. And I, I believe I paid about 40 to $50 a piece. I know that sounds crazy. Um, but when you're looking for a piece of childhood nostalgia, um, like there's stories behind these, you know, uh, there's stories of my childhood behind these. And I think that's what I love so much. I mean, obviously I love the wrestling and I love the characters, but really you're attaching yourself to your childhood, right? You're, you're trying to, um, ca recapture that, you know, and, and if you're a nostalgic person like I am, um, you know, it's worth 45 or 50 bucks, you know, you only live once. So, but, uh, this is awesome. Um, we used to stay at my grandparents' house every summer. Uh, my parents both worked. And so uh, my mom would drop us off, my, my little brother and I, at my grandparents' house. And we had a corner store that was right around the corner from my, my grandparents. And my aunt would be home from, from university in the summers. And we used to go over to the local uh, convenience store. It was called Avondale. Again, I grew up in Niagara Falls, Canada. We'd walk over to Avondale and it was one of those classic stores that had just a little nook for movie rentals. And, um, you know, she had her little rental card, my aunt did, and uh, every time we went in, this is what we rented. Um, we rented WrestleMania 1 all the time. My aunt would be like, okay, <laughs> you know, like, you want to rent it again for the 20th time? That's fine. But we just loved it, my brother and I. We just, we, we watched it over and over and over again. We couldn't get enough of it. Um, so, yeah, this is uh, WrestleMania 1. And we also used to rent... Um, WrestleMania 2. You know, these are in excellent condition. Uh, the clamshell cases, um, they really are very nice. They're very well kept. Um, there's the match card on the back. Um, just like, forgot to show that on the first one. The match cards are on the back. Um, and again, just, it's attached to memories. You know, it's attached to childhood, to good times, right? Um, it's attached to being at my grandparents' house, you know, who are no longer with us anymore. So there's a lot, there's a lot there. It's more than just the wrestling, but you know, I don't want to get too mushy or go get too deep with it. But, but yeah, WrestleMania two, we used to rent this all the time as well. And then of course, when WrestleMania three came out, um, this was another beauty, bigger, better, badder WrestleMania three. There's the match card again on the back. Um, you know, specially priced thirty nine ninety five. So you know, all things considered, considered, it's you know, I didn't, I don't think I spent too much money on it. But again, um, you know, when it comes to this, um, you know, obviously I do have a limit of what I would spend. It's not like I'd spend two hundred dollars on a VHS tape. But but yeah, this is great. Uh, this card was fantastic. Uh, we have family in Montreal, Canada. We went to visit them for a week 
And in that week that we were there, WrestleMania 3, March 27th, we went to the Montreal Forum. It's no longer in existence. And we watched it closed circuit. There were four jumbo screens around the, uh, around the score clock that hangs just suspended above the arena in the center of the arena. And we watched it closed circuit. There was 15 or 16,000 people there watching it, watching pro wrestling on a big screen. And, uh, you know, the roar of the crowd when uh, Hulk Hogan slammed Andre the Giant in that arena was crazy. I was nine or 10. And uh, that's a memory I won't soon forget. That's for sure. So that was kind of neat being able to see this closed circuit. Um, you know, I didn't have access to the first and second WrestleManias. I just had to watch them when they came out on VHS. But I got to see this one live, which was pretty cool. Um, and then, of course, we rented it over and over again. So, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, that's my, uh, that's my pro wrestling uh, mini haul. Um, I've got some other wrestling memorabilia that I will highlight in, in uh, future videos. And I've got some more stuff that I'd like to pick up um, in the near future as well. But uh, yeah, that's a quick trip down a memory lane of the golden, the golden era of pro wrestling. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, stay tuned for more videos like this as well as uh you know back to movies and then back to 80s pop culture um i hope you like the content um i hope it's fun i hope it uh you know i hope it uh helps you to relive some of your childhood and uh, that nostalgia um because that's why i do this um really that's mainly why i do this i mean i love all this stuff but i it's just uh it just takes me back right so it's awesome anyhow um Hope you enjoy the video and uh, we'll catch you on the next one.